Lee Blood Suckers, and I am going to be doing a new series for the channel. It's Yu Gi Oh! related. I am going to be doing actual reviews on the Yu Gi Oh! series. Uh, so the whole total, so that means every season that's been made, and even seasons that have uh, non globalization. So, starting with that. We're gonna go with season zero, and that we are gonna be reviewing the first episode. And this is all scripted, so if you see me looking off, I am looking at my script. So starting off, straight up from the start, which I absolutely love because they always kind of hinted about it in the English dubs and stuff that you're dying basically in the Shadow Realm but they never really say it upright. But with Season Zero, the people that find the Millennium Puzzle, or in this case the Dark, uh, well the Puzzle of Darkness, I'm sorry, kills the professor that finds it. Now a little bit after that we get to the school. And Joey is already teasing Yugi. And a thing that is done in the um, season one is they say Tristan was also bullying Yugi. But the truth is, Tristan was not by, uh, bullying Yugi at all. Because. He tries to stop, he shows up while Joey's teasing him and he tries to stop Joey from teasing him boy and Nugi. A little bit after that, Tia comes in and takes the Millennium Box from Joey, who of course stole the uh, eyepiece to it, to the Millennium Puzzle from the box without Yugi knowing, but um, and gets on his case for bullying Yugi, and there's also an exclusive character, and that's Miho. And I'm not really sure why they cut her out of season one. Um, maybe they'll talk about that in the later episodes. If you hear that voice in the background, that's my stepdad talking, so I do apologize about that. But, uh... I don't know why she was cut out of Season 1. It made no sense to cut her out of Season 1, from what I can tell. And it also seems like Tristan had a little pressure on her. Then we get... Our first... Debut of Trudge. Now, as y'all know, Trudge is in 5Ds. He's also an Easter egg through mention in GX as well. But he's a part of the discipline community, which is kind of hypocritical of him and all that because he's like. He says directly to um, Joey and Tristan that bully isn't good, but he's literally a boy, boy himself. And a little bit after that, he uh, Yuki kind of sees him training the other disciplined community members. And now, granted, I did call Trudge a boy, but. Um, But, uh, sorry, my parents are doing it, it's distracting me. But, um, he didn't, I guess he did mean in his own way to be a bully, but he, okay, let's take 5Ds as an example. He's a police officer in 5Ds, and he's trying to enforce justice in his own way. He's a little more mellow in 5Ds because Season Zero is... Um, 
more based around the manga, so it's a bit darker than the other seasons. And but you can say that in season zero, he was kind of trying to enforce justice his own way, but he made Yugi feel weird about it. And Yugi even calls him a weirdo in his mind, of course, when he's walking away from the truck. Because he it tells Yugi he, he's gonna protect him, he's gonna be Yugi's bodyguard and all that. And from there, uh, one second. Yuki gets to the, his grandpa's game shop slash home. Well, slash their home. T is there waiting for him. This, I actually praise for kids for. They, in season one, they made Yuki's grandpa not in it. Sorry about that, I was interrupted. Anyways. What? No, don't worry my damn notes. Sorry, I have to find my notes again. Uh, there it is. Anyways, what I was saying was, I'll give four ki kids for credit for this because they made Yugi's grandpa less of a pedophile in this. Right? Yugi's grandpa, well, not in this, but in the season one, I mean. Yugi's grandpa is more of a pedophile in season zero because he even addresses T as um, breast size. And you can literally, the way they draw her face, you can tell she's uncomfortable and she's even got that little uncomfortable sweat mark coming down her face and in her head she said what's wrong with this old man so in season one they made him a lot better and uh, y'all remember how i said trudge is a hypocrite and a bully well that's where this comes in because even before yugi gets to school, he had already beaten up Tristan and Joey. Yogi, Yugi, I said Yogi. Yugi shows up and tries to stop it. Trudge calls him a weird one. And then this, this also comes in the way where his justice is twisted. He uh tells Yugi he's got to pay him 20,000 yen. For protection, even though Yugi did not want that protection, and Yugi even tries to stop him because he also kicks Joey in the chest while Joey's still conscious. And so, a little after that, Yugi goes back to school because he thought he lost the piece to the Millennium Puzzle, which he did, but it was more Joey stole it and threw it in that little canal area and I will always respect Joey and Tristan for this because Joey gets the piece that he threw in the canal but they seen Trudge taking uh, Gigi to a secluded area on the school grounds and when they got there, he had already beaten up Yugi and all that. So, Tristan gave the piece to Yugi. Not Tristan, I'm sorry, Joey. Gave the piece to Yugi. And Tristan said that he respected Trudge. He used to respect Trudge because he was part of the discipline community. I forgot to mention, the reason why Tristan also... Uh, Try to stop Joey when Joey was teasing Yugi earlier on in the episode. Is Tristan Tristan used to be part of the student council and he tried to go be student council president. 
but he didn't get voted as student council president, so he ended up becoming part of the beauty council, which is weird, but that is what it is. But anyways, um, so Tristan and Joey go to fight Tredge. It get, doesn't work out on their it part, but Yami shows up. And he... So Yami in Season 0 is a bit different from Season 1 Yami. And the thing is, is um... If y'all hear that noise in the background now, that's my air conditioner. I don't know why it does that, it just does. I do apologize. Hopefully when I cut, uh, make it where the background sound ain't so loud. Y'all can't hear it. But, um, back to what I was saying. Uh, sorry, looking at my script. Yeah, okay. So, as I was saying, Season 0 Yami is more brutal, and I do believe he even kills at one point in the Shadow Realm, but the Shadow Realm for Trudge, he doesn't... He basically claims that he's killing him when because they do like a uh, draw thing for, uh, with playing cards. And he gets the higher number every time. So Trudge tries to cheat and that doesn't go well for Trudge. He, try, he uh, starts falling. And these like uh, worm things, I guess, basically eat Trudge. But that was his spirit that was being devoured by him. Because in the real world, it'll show Trudge on the ground crying, crying and panicking, saying, on me and all that. So, the thing is, in season one, he, Yami only does the mind break to wipe your mind from the evil side of you and all that stuff, which is okay in its own way. But season zero is a lot more brutal with it, and... It basically breaks your spirit. As I said, I don't remember in the later episodes of Season 0 if people actually die. But I am going to be watching it, so we'll find out. Now, my final thoughts on it. I love Season 0. Now, I have watched zero, Season 0 before. But... That was a very long time ago, and I don't remember everything in it. So, going back and doing this and watching it again, I really had fun doing it. The only thing I still don't understand is why were they push pushing Tristan as the bully along with Joey? When in truth, Tristan was not. I mean, even in season one, they basically hit at Tristan being a bully to Yugi when he wasn't. He literally wasn't a bully to Yugi. He tried to stop Joey and steer Joey away from that. Like, what was the hate towards Tristan in this season to make it where he's a bully when he wasn't? But, um, anyways, I don't know when I'm gonna review the next episode, but... I am going to start doing Yu-Gi-Oh! content more every Monday instead of every other Monday. So if I don't do it next Monday, the Monday after that, it will be a review episode. Next Monday I might be doing something else. I don't know what I'll be doing for Yu-Gi-Oh! yet. Next Monday, but I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on watching this. And I do so apologize for all the interruptions, especially when I've told someone that I was recording. But I love you all. Mwah.